stone carving of Shiva. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's a genuine candlestick. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Some kind of funeral art. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. says unidentified potsherds. Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Looks like textiles from the Shaman collection. It's from the Shaman collection. Very sharp. dangerous. here. The stairway is closed for repairs. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. of a Siamese idol. Looks pretty slippery.
fine sample of bitumen. It's hot. It's a greasy old towel. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is pipes? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with a hooded statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Insult. Well, what do you think? 
I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you's better apologize. But why should I use fat tub of lard? That's it, white guy. Put up your toes. <laughs> They got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. Five thousand years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean. and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Hey, she's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Here. 
Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? say it's about time. Oh no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Uberman, fantastic view. We found the treasure we see. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announced a plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. 
closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. What were these pieces doing in Iceland, I wonder? Survivors must have sailed there after the great catastrophe. Any port in a storm, huh? Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks call Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were repelled by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no! He was stopped by a first field, put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt and Tikal, a shady fellow. Who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Island. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp traitor. So long. Goodbye. Don't come back. Let's head for the airport.
good old Mother Nature. Let's look around. Okay. Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir marks? No thanks, mister. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my an Indian now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Why aren't we allowed inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Title! Well, at least you're an honest man. Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. Stop. Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Excuse me. Yes. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around.
Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable! Now I got it. Marvelous! It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! Look at that! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! engraved on it. I do believe it's a wolf stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh no, he got away! Too bad for Sternar. He missed the Oracalcum beat. Let's find the airport. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Let's head for the airport. This is his house? This is it. Listen. Yes? Why don't you talk to him? My pleasure. Mr. Costa! Keep your shirt on! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just watch. Well, hello, beautiful. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, the renowned psychic? We need your help. At your service. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. 
I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. What a charming old man. Trader. Huh? Listen. Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming! Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The lost dialogue of Plato is in the Sprague collection, got that? I think so, the Sprague collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Sprague collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Sprague collection. Fantastic news! Kana! At last! See what Herr Charles has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this! Prehistoric knickknack? Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Ore Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. It glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My of uranium without any radioactivity and those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bee inside the statue's open mouth. That? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. You 
use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the American. Think of bomb. So why are you dragging me in here? Wait here while I look for the spray collection. No thanks. I'll meet you in your office. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. A fine example of braided hemp. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. It's too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. I believe it's part of the old Sp Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. It's made out of wax. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. inspiration. You mean your old pal Nurab Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. 
So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. You once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Calcum sure is spooky stuff. Spooky? Haven't you learned anything? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones. If you want to find Atlantis. I'll go, but you're staying here. We'll see about that. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. But you're better with your fists than your head. I foresee combat and violence along your path to Atlantis, a path too dangerous for me. So it'll be rough. That's the way I like it. Good luck. You'll need it. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. Just a moment, please. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. That's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. To prove you are worth dealing with, answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? When the celestial spheres were well aligned. Yes, 
Excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. And now, au revoir. Driver to the airport. Excuse me. How can I help you, Adeli? Are you Omar? You mean Mr. Aljabar? <laughs> that is an also good one, Adeli. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Aljabar? Suppose I could defend him, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? It's a matter of life and death. That's what they all say. You'll have to give me a better reason than that. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Ah, the business card of Monsieur Trottier. That's different. Perhaps Mr. Aljabar will desire to speak with you. Wait here until I get back. The servant's ducking into that house. I'm getting impatient. Not for all the riches in the world. Tell me more or die. Master will tell you nothing. Hideous torture! Won't say a word. What do you know about Atlantis? Thank you for saving me from that infidel. What's your name? Indiana Jones. Really? The famous archaeologist? What brings you to North Africa? I heard you know something about Atlantis. I'm looking for it. Take my advice, Doctor, and give up. There are men who will kill to stop you. Are you talking about Klaus Kerner? know the man I see. He forced me to reveal the source of my Atlantean artifacts. He and his team are out in the desert, turning a modest discovery of mine into a major dig. They seem to have found an outpost of the Lost Kingdom, and they're stealing my treasures! What were they doing here? The dig site isn't enough to set their greed. They want more. 
now, since you saved my life. Here's the map and the camel to speed you on your way. Meanwhile, Paul and I must alert the authorities. Wait, what map? Which camel? Just a piece of bamboo. Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is considerably to the south and to the east. Thanks for the information. Yipe! We don't like trespassers out here. I'm taking you back to the city. Over my dead body. If you insist. <laughs> back without a fight. Preference noted. Bingo! Score one for archaeology. What do you make of this map? Hmm, you are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south and slightly to the east. Thanks for the information.
feels like a portable generator. There's a coppery bead in here. These figures are tossing around for a stone disc. I can't move it. Well, now, here's something the Nazis missed. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. behind this crumbling rock. Aha! Why didn't I notice this before? The shape painted under the sunstone. It's the island of Crete. I'll bet that's where I'll find Atlantis, or one of the colonies. Got the sunstone. Tough climb. Halt! Do you realize what you've done? You've dug an unauthorized hole. Come here, pal, and I'll show you my authorization. Try anything and you're a dead man. Don't worry, I won't. Believe me, that's the way to stay healthy. For now. Listen. What is it? I've got this nagging rash on my knuckles. Want to see? My advice is pretend you're a statue. I won't even scratch my nose. Or anything else. While you're standing there, let me show you a magic trick I learned. You'll be sorry you did that, Americana. <laughs> Too bad he doesn't have anything worth taking. Hey, there's a balloon up there.
Must be an updraft here. There's a statue here. I see the right horn. I see the left horn. There's a statue here. I see the right horn. Hello, what's this? Hey, there's a stone disc down here. It's got a hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about.
What do you know? A secret door. You're trespassing on occupied territory. I've got orders not to let anyone pass. Out of my way, sauerkraut. You need a lesson in respect, my hair. <laughs> The legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I'll bet the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for me somewhere beyond that door. Wait, that was my ride! How nice. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be holding the elevator's counterweight. Counterweight is free. There's an aura calcum bead underneath it. I'll take that too.
Uh-oh. That hurts. There's a map sure is heavy. Did I hear it groan and protest? Did it move a little bit? Or is it my imagination? Come on, fall over! Bingo! I wonder if that thing is anchored securely. Shouldn't you be with the other foreign advisor? And where's Hans? I'll show you where. <laughs> Civilians allowed in here. Now wait a minute. Your shoelace is untied. Where? Wait, these boots don't have any lasers. <laughs> What are you doing here? Franz sent me. You expect me to believe that? Believe this. <laughs> You! Explain yourself won't be quick. I'm looking for a patsy, and here you are. What is this patsy? You are. It's written all over you. weapon for a Stone Age guy.
Godi mas igitor. B five four. I'll just lever this thing over the edge. And... Oh no, the ship rib broke. Looks like I'm trapped. You're the Americana. Come and see. I won't hurt you. No, any good thinking, John? Maybe. Let me think. Will the Saints go marching in? Hey, that's a good one. Now be on your way. Godimas Igitor. Your lord. The doorway is blocked. Your lord. It's too heavy to push. Oh, then I go a wandering among some mountains high. Godimas. Sure is heavy. Then I go upon it. I don't think that'll work. Well, that shattered my rock wedge. But it worked. There's an amber fish on a string in his pocket. He also had a couple of orichalcum beads. just as Plato described it, in three concentric circles. Funny, it's pointing downward. Hey, down there! Indy, is that you? <gasps> I was asleep. What a strange echo. It sounds just like Sophia. I'm laughing. Now get me out of here! Okay, sit tight. Thanks. I guess you finally got on Kerner's nerves, huh? I don't want to talk about it, but look what I found down there. It's the world stone Sternhart nabbed in Tikal. Very good, Doctor.
Sophia, take a look at this. Hmm. According to the inscription, the arrow on this pedestal is pointing north towards the lesser colony of Atlantis. The nearest landmass up north is a volcanic island called Thera. Well then, that's our next stop. Let's move on. Here we are, Thera. The whole island is the rim of an extinct volcano. There's a Greek scholar named Maranathos who claims the place exploded in 1600 BC and wiped out civilization all over the Mediterranean. Kind of like Krakatoa. Exactly, only bigger. Maybe it wiped out Atlantis as well. It's useless to speculate. What's our plan? Now we can talk to the locals. That's a good idea. See if our friend Kerner has been here. I'll wait here. box. Looks like the collapsed entrance to an underground chamber. Who knows, maybe it led straight to Atlantis. It's a tire repair kit. It's a German army truck with a missing tire. Kerner must have been here.
Ahoy there. Ahoy yourself. If it's salvage work you need, I'm your man. No job too big, no job too small. You ever hear of Atlantis? Of course, and dragons and mermaids and... Uh... I want to go there. Can you take us? To Atlantis? I can't go anywhere that's not marked on my charts. Where exactly do you expect to find it? Twenty-seven miles from here. In what direction? Southwest of Thera. Do you know where that puts us? Since you don't seem to know, I'll tell you. In the middle of the ocean. diving suit or something? Yes, but there's a hole in it. Are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, of course. All right, Mr. All-American Explorer type, let's find Atlantis. Just remember, if it sank like they said it did, I claim the salvage rights. Asked you lovers, we've arrived. Are you sure? Exactly where you wanted to go. There's a diving suit in one of the lockers, the rest is up to you. Aren't you going to help? I'm against helping anyone into an early grave. From now on, you're on your own. It's an old diving suit. Uh-oh, there's a small hole in it. There, good as new, almost. to get me into the water, Sophia. I can't move it. I can't move it. It's a device to lift heavy objects. Watch that hook. Okay, okay. Stop! Atlantis is right below me! Uh-oh. What's that shadow pulling alongside the boat? Kerner! Perfect! Another slimy creature oozing up from the depths. Now, now, Fraulein Hapwood, I have no wish to shoot you. Don't make me change my mind. What mind? I see you've acquired some bad manners from your friend Charles. Where is he, may I ask? Back on Thera, he'll 
never find him. Really? What do you say, Captain? I brought them both like you told me, Herr Colonel. I tried to keep Jones from diving. But he's a very determined man. Now he's a dead man. One rude archaeologist is quite enough for my purposes. <laughs> Whoa! Oh boy, I've got maybe three minutes of air in my suit. Better start hiking. Nothing. 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 Sure feels good to be out of that diving suit. Amazing! I must be hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. It's impossible. Except if that were really true, I'd be dead. The ladder is in place. Hey, it opens! for the statue open.
You must be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. Don't be too sure. Let's talk this over. Some other time. Run, you coward! What a mess. Sure is ugly. Looks deep. I guess this really was the end of the line. It's a cage of ribs, more or less intact. Now, this might be useful.
It worked. I hope this catches crabs. There's a feisty crab in there. This must be Crab Central. an archaeological find. That looks much better.
Well, well, aura calcum beads. It's got a wide open mouth. Hey, it's getting hot. Who looks pretty hungry? I can't board it from here. Whoa, this thing's got a motor.
It's a stone disc with earthly images carved into it. must leave somewhere. What's this? It's a broken statue. It's closed. I can't put it there. lead somewhere.
Sophia? Well? I just crawled through a mile of mud for you. It was a picnic compared to life in this cell. Did you miss me? Put it this way, even your company beats this cell. Are you all right? I'll feel a lot better once you open this cell. Sure, this is safe. Sure, let's go, Sophia. I don't know. The door makes me nervous. Brace the door with a rock. I don't have a rock. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe we'll think of something. What makes you think this is safer now? I've got a plan. Which is? Brace the cage with a hinge pin. You know, that just might work. There! You know, I had to slug you. Come on, Sophia, don't be angry. Angry? You left me rotting in this hellhole! If that's how you feel, maybe you should stay here. Maybe I will. Great idea. Fine. Fine. What was that? I'm not sure. I think Nurov Sol made me do it. Is that so? Dangerous fella, that Mr. Sal. Yeah. Well, we better be going. Sophia? Yes? You should have seen the octopus in here. Spare me the fish story if you don't mind. You know, Atlantis is an eerie place. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined the splendor of the lost city. This must be one of the canals Plato wrote about. It can't be. Plato wrote of great waterways stretching as far as the eye could see. This seems like one of the sewers. Let's keep going. I'm with you.
Looks like the way to the middle of Atlanta. Indy, Nurab Sal is here. I sense his presence. Hold on a minute. Are you feeling okay? Never better. I feel all-powerful. Come on, we got things to do. We certainly do. Oh, for crying out loud. In here, Indy. Follow me. Ah, Dr. Jones. Welcome to my humble abode. Sophia. I hear you. Jeez, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I find it exceptionally restful. Yeah, the stone beds sure look comfy. Silence, fool. Come on, Sophia, let's get out of here. I'm staying right here with the spirit who guides my thoughts. Sophia, is that you? The woman that was is now the king that shall ever be. Address me accordingly. So are you a girl or a guy now, or what? Flesh means nothing. I am the Great Spirit Incarnate. Yeah, well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? Speak your mind, Carl! Let me talk to the mortal woman. Make it quick. The time for human frailty is past. I think your necklace is driving you nuts. That's absurd. For the first time in my life, my mind is perfectly clear. Wise up, Sophia. Throw the necklace away. No, no. Nurab Sal wouldn't like that. Mind if I look at your necklace? Medallion is hot. Drop it, why don't you? Nurab Sal won't let me. No! Sorry, Sophia. So long, Nurab Sal. Excuse me. Yes? Jeez, this place still gives me the creeps. Me too. Look at those 
Jesus' feet, or whatever they were. Atlantean graffiti. Going up? All the way down here. Suit yourself. Sophia. That was close. Too close. Stick close, kid. This could be dangerous. I'll take my chance.
your horses. Still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries.
well. Send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't be here without a guinea pig, can we? Well, you 
won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales, even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What was that for? To ease the pain. Thank you. 